We usually hear these types of comments from the president when trade tensions are pretty high with China. What's the significance of the president linking China and North Korea this time around? Well, the president has for a long time linked China and North Korea, the Chinese trade issue with the North Korea issue. It's not the first time that we've heard him conflate the two. But here, the president is clearly frustrated. The U.S. has failed to show progress in its denuclearization efforts. But what's interesting is that instead of placing the blame on North Korea, he says that those talks are actually doing well, but they're frustrated by Chinese influence. Uh, he has pointed to aid from China, uh, potentially China backing down or not in providing the full support of enforcing sanctions to try and bring North Korea to the table. Clearly, uh, U.S. talks with China are not going well. So some of that frustration could be coming into play. Or he could be playing hardball. Either way, it's clear that he's frustrated with the pace of progress on the North Korea front, and he sees China to blame primarily. Oh, so what is Trump trying to signal with this statement, then? Are war games actually on the table for the region now? Well, President Trump uh, suspended these particular war games in June. Now, since the mid-1950s, the U.S. has conducted these war games with allies. Uh, the U.S. has said that they were meant to show that the two sides could work together in the event of an attack, but they've long angered North Korea. Uh, given President Trump's rhetoric about how the talks were going well with North Korea and even uh, saying that his relationship remained fine with uh, Kim Jong-un, it it's, seems unlikely he's looking to restart those those joint war exercises. What's more likely is he's trying to ratchet up the pressure on China, which probably doesn't like those war games in its backyard as well, in the hopes that he will get both help on the North Korea denuclearization front as well as the trade front. Yeah, actually, Greg, it, it pretty much is widely accepted that Trump needs China to make progress on his denuclearization efforts for the Korean Peninsula. But could China then use that as leverage in these current ongoing trade talks? Uh, it's, it's certainly possible. Of course, visibility into Chinese strategy and trade talks and into what they're doing is sometimes opaque. But we know that the talks between the U.S. and China did not produce much. Even though both sides went in with low expectations, uh, the tariffs continue. Last week, the U.S. put on 16 billion uh, tariffs on $16 billion worth of goods mm -hmm. and another looming a uh, set of tariffs on $200 billion worth of goods. So clearly this is another front that the Chinese and the U.S. could seek leverage uh, in the ongoing trade talks, for sure.